Um, just for the information of committee members, um, there has been an e-petition uh, put up uh, about half a day ago, late yesterday. Uh, it was put up uh, very uh, just before dinner time yesterday um, on this topic, and it might be something members would be interested to, to, to follow, uh, particularly the Liberal members, uh, because they're you know being expected to do the Prime Minister's dirty work for them, and I'm sure that they're getting a lot of flack for, about that. And it's not you know it, the only person that's benefiting from this is the Prime Minister; he's the one that wants to make life easier for himself. Um, and so I, you know, I think there's something Liberal members might want to follow. It's e-petition 983, and I'll just um, note that it's been up for about half a day now, and it has about 5,000 signatures. I'm watching it, and it's growing by the minute here. Signatures from every single province and territory all across the country. Uh, and I'll just read, I won't read the preamble, because that might take too much of Mr. Christofferson's time, but I will just read the prayer on the petition, just, just for the information of members. It says, we, the undersigned citizens and residents of Canada, call upon the Government of Canada to adhere to long-standing parliamentary tradition and procedure and not force any changes to the standing orders of the House of Commons outlined in the above-mentioned discussion paper without the unanimous consent of all political parties currently represented in the House of Commons. And as I say, it's, it's around 5,000 signatures in about half a day and growing by the minute. Um, something that I think members would want to be aware of and, and, and follow. Um, because it's obvious that Canadians from all across this country are demanding that this government not do this without the consent of all political parties. Thank you, Mr. Richards.